Okay. Getting real. We're up in the, we're up in like the, I think we're rank five now. We're rank five. Shit's getting real. Yo, hold up. Did he just tweet at us? golf as well yeah I'm not gonna play Madden but I will play the 2k golf cool all right fitness is nice and fucking super low <laughs> we, we let that tweet simmer for a little bit I backed K bonds into a corner and now he can't get out judgment day is coming I'm gonna play nice here because if he thinks too much about this, he's gonna tear up that contract. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. What are we working on? Body knees? Body knees? We like body knees. Dude, I almost have reversals maxed. That's how insane is that? Guillotines. Hold him out for three seconds and then guillotine the fuck out of him. I, I like the sound of that. Hmm. What do you guys think? Should we go Muay Thai or should we go boxing? Overhands, low key getting close to four. Let's go overhands. All right, let's do this. No purple fight gear. I, I don't have any. And for some reason, you don't get like any coins from this mode. So I can't buy shit. All right, we got 150 Evo points to fuck with here. 149 Evo points to fuck with. Forgot about my injury. Whoops. Alright, let's get uh head movement up to up to three. It's way it's just way too low. Can't be that damn low. Um Player hub challenges. I've gotten a bunch of those done, but I haven't like, I'm not like focusing them. All right, this guy is a wrestler. So maybe we should up submission defense to three stars just to be safe. Take the ground striking up. I want my ground strikes to hurt, hurt more, dude. down defense i was thinking about it but i do okay do okay i don't know we'll see let me see it depends on what i'm gonna do right here because this is um, i might take a, a punch power upgrade or kick power <coughs> excuse me um And let's take let's take punch power, dude. One punch power. Do we have anything left? Fuck a lot. Nah, we're not gonna be able to upgrade anything else. It's okay though. That punch power is gonna be big. 
All right, we are technically uh, underdogs here. Accuracy, I'm, I'm, dude. I don't. I, the thing with accuracy is like, I've been doing okay without it so far, but I, I'm getting to the point where I, I need to get it because I miss too much, and it kills Stan. All right, let's get some hype. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses. The fuck is he, he talking about? This Does this guy know who Kerry Bonds is? Boxing match tonight. Most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, all right, so here he is, the Nigerian Nightmare, and you can also now call him the UFC welterweight champion. He had to go 10-0 in the UFC to finally realize that UFC belt, beat Tyron Woodley, and establish himself as the standard 170. What's up, Red Dog? Uh, I'm uh, ranked five right now. understood that he would do whatever it took to become UFC champion, and when he got that opportunity, it was the wrestling, the cardio, and the ability to follow the game plan set out front of him by him to Greg Jones that allowed him to blank Tyron Woodley on the scorecard and win that welterweight championship. I'm the lead with this performance by Usman. Truly one of the hardest workers in the game, and if we watch that Woodley fight, you get the sense that it is going to take a Herculean effort for somebody to be thrown. You hunted at 160. He's actually got a reach advantage on us. Yeah, I was gonna say it's about to come up. Right, here we go. Okay. Okay. Clinch is insane. I can't stop it. Cannot stop it at all. He fucked up there, though. Oh. I never. I. I don't know why I ever try going for that. It's the worst. What? What is happening? 
This, that's not what I tried to do. Oh man, you gotta love it. You gotta love just not being able to do anything. There it goes. There it is. Boom. Boom. Suck them. Suck knees. Just fucking decimating the body. That's how you do it. I didn't defend that. Okay. That's to suck, I guess. It, it gets hard. It gets hard because this game is fucking stupid loud too. So let me know if it gets too loud. Okay, good. Tried it. Why am I trying that? It never worked. There it is. Absolutely just destroying. 
His body, though. Going to town. I did not mean to skip that, damn it. Going to town on his body, though. Look at his stamina. How did that not land? His takedowns are unstoppable. Alright, ready for this? Here it is. And then we go up. Oop. Gotcha, bitch. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Nope. He stopped it. How? Uh, how? Because I have no stand too, I guess, but still. through the block baby you like the form there at the end we got him posture up postured up knee on belly said fuck that we're taking the top mount instead and then boom finished it that way his leg up too had his body on, uh, just destroyed fucked his leg up he had a cut as well reversals are maxed out we're looking good uh i i think it's better i i haven't played online so i i can't speak to that i love how we're coming into the fight right there we're all bashed up <laughs> so funny glitch uh I, I think that they made some changes like to which moves progress to what and like reversals and things like that that make sense um, and work a little better. I feel like they, they kind of curbed some of the stuff that was OP. But um, I don't know. I haven't played online, so that it, it really depends. Yeah, the UFC ground and pound was very OP if you knew what to do. Uh, I think that they made some changes that made that work. you have to at least learn how to stop transitions and be able to get up at the very least uh and stop takedowns if you can't do that you're you're gonna lose to guys who are good at the gr ground game just the way she goes you know um but practice stuff bag my guy's got max reversals now but that's because i just practiced it like i was saying that's the key to winning on the ground is being able to stop transitions No way that would happen to me, though. I'd hit you half as hard and you'd go down. <laughs> Yo. Dana White. May get... K Bonds may get the next shot at the title. Say what? Yo. I thought you said I was getting a shot at the title. Who the fuck? You guys rank 11. I just fought the rank 4 guy. The hell? Do we take this? 
we take this fight try to hype it up this is a launching pad fight I've never declined to fight though is the thing. I don't want uh, I want I don't want people to think I'm out here declining fights. I say we take the fight and try to hype it up and then whoop that ass. If we get enough hype, we might be able to take a shot at one of these top three guys. Can you do with the, anything with the money? You can. You need money to learn moves. I don't know, dude. I, I say we just take it. Why not? Fuck six weeks though. We'll make it four. Actually, low key, six weeks means six weeks of training. That's a lot of Evo points. Uh, you have to have unlocked game plans to, to view them. Uh, that's only that really only applies if you fought the guy before, basically, I guess. Oh shit! I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I shouldn't have done both. Whoops. That's okay. I blew a week. At least we got the hype up already. Whoop. Uh. Let's go ahead and all new double stacker champion, chicken champion. Yeah, dude. All right, now it's time to get down to business. I should have sparred once that that week though. I kind of blew it a little bit. It's okay though. Lead body front kick. Is it a Muay Thai, a Muay Thai training? Is it Muay Thai season? Red Dog, thanks for the follow, dude. What's up, Jub Jub? Good to see you, dude. Mm. Core clinch moves. Throw any strikes in the clinch. Lead body front kicks. Those are... Uh, that's... L2, R1, X. Body jabs, dude. We gotta mix in some body jabs. Dude, I, I was gonna be pissed if I got an injury right there. I'd have been so mad. You think that's a butterfly? Have you seen a butterfly, Beans? Maybe you should go outside. I don't know, I've seen wings. Listen, dude. I'm just gonna do us both a favor. You, just back up, all right? Just, just, just stop. <laughs> you're not gonna like where this is going. You're, you're not the sharpest bulb in the, in the shed, bro. Just relax, all right? Sit back and enjoy the show. It's a ribbon. I, I, it's it's perfect, perfectly presented for you, whenever you're ready. Let me make a copy. Well, 
was exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses at least that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start to lose everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jiu-jitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. I think it was a Honda, a 99, that we tried and turned it on. It never started right away to the morning. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's been on my leg. And if they do get there, his back immediately he's up into a foot suit, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. All right, we got high. He's got reach. Ladies and gentlemen, this we go. Three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 10 losses, one draw, and two no contests. He stands five feet eleven feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Ooh, a little shark tattoo. Dagsy, thanks for following. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? Nicely done to finish the fight. 
Well, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliano is going to stop for this contest at two minutes, 30 seconds of the very first round. It's going to winner by the body snatcher. Right, so there he is, the Go. man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And Remember that fight hype was low, finished off very high. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. Got a big KO. On those promises you make to the public, tonight you did exactly How did he get back up though? Congratulations. Uh, smelling salts. That's my guess. He only landed 11 strikes. Seven significant though. How do I lose 2% longevity? The fuck? No matter how well you do, you'll you always lose some. But still, dude, that's a, that seems like a fucking lot for just fighting some rando and knocking him out in the first round. I was, that guy was like nowhere near me in the rankings. Head kicks are just too nasty, dude. Snatch that body. <laughs> Chat wanted me to name him the Grave Digger, but that wasn't an off an option. Carry Body Snatcher Bonds though sounds pretty good. Good stuff. Kind of sucks it froze. The first fight was like that. That one was short and sweet. I'll take a fucking dope knockout like that any day. But I don't know. The first fight was a little. <laughs> 